and now we get a peek at some of the top players here for this Hello, round. everybody. Welcome to some Randy more God Ultimate Charles Team. Go in the booth. So we, we got Nikki, go who are facing let's this play. time around. So, all right, let's do it. Set to go now on a beautiful sunny afternoon, and we are underway in Fox crying. Girl. Crap, shit was <laughs> taking it about the 16, and they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they All get right, down past the 30. All right, Nick K, let's do it. Oh, I should probably expect some freaking quarterback scrambles coming. They'll run for the first time with Hill. And they take yeah. the losing yardage back at the 27. So a loss of five, and it'll be second down. Well, the person carrying the ball is always the easy target when things aren't going so well. But I think it's a combination with the Chargers. They've got the offensive line going in order to improve those numbers from last year. Oh, right away. He lost oh. Oh, look at that, baby. Oh. Nice. What a wonderful start. So the defense forces the fumble. They get the score. And a guy on defense becoming offensive there, Charles. And you know they love that. Any guy on defense loves to pick up the ball and have it in his hands and try and score. Now, what did I say? He's going to try to run with Russell Wilson. Be singing in the show. I just knew it. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble stupid return fun. for a score. Stop it. Got some fielding in the end zone. Dumb fun. Oh, a heck of a move. Oh, man. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard ah, line. Here we go. And now San Diego getting set to go. Uh, let's see here. They go play action here on first down. They'll buy some time. Yeah, right. baby. Find a receiver and he's brought down. Brian Arakpo able to drop him for a loss of four. Sometimes I watch games and wonder why they get one out sometime now. Passing situations because it's not going to fool anyone. I don't know if that was the case here, but the end result was the same. No one fooled. The quarterback was hit. Out to his left. Now he'll score oh. throw deep left sideline. God dang it. Amari Cooper, the intended target. And it's third down. What I loved about meeting with these coaches before the game is we didn't even have to ask any questions. They told us that they were going to be aggressive and push the ball downfield. They weren't successful on that play. But look for them to try it again later. Third and long, it's Wilson. Boom! Intercepted! Come on, on Nicky. It's only like three minutes in. Don't quit on me now. And this time, it results in an interception. Following the interception here, Rivers looking left side. Ah. A nice pickup of 14, and it moves the stick, sets up a first and goal. And the next snap coming inside the red zone here. So Herman Moore, his first grab of the game. And back in his day, he shattered all the Lions receiving records. And he did it with a number of different quarterbacks. He was the target for defenses to adjust to. And I, I guess the best way to put it is, Herman Moore, that guy, could play in today's game and be just as successful. To throw his rivers. His pass caught at the four. All right. A gain of six there on first. Well, clearly one of his advantages as a passer is his height, sit back in the pocket, fired over the middle. That makes things tougher defensively, doesn't it? It really does, because your goal is to move the quarterback off his initial spot when he gets his drop back completed. But when you have that type of height, he can stay. And he'll take it. All right. Zone for a Patriot touchdown. John Coon from three yards out. And the Patriots add six to their lead. And it's good to make it 14 nothing. Now Cat and Zero after the touchdown to kick it away. So far, good start. <laughs> and this will get out of bounds. Right. No worries there, though. That still goes as a touchback. 
The Chargers offense gets set. They head back onto the field. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. I'm here my old college coach right now. He always used to tell us before every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. But they're hoping is that that last mistake is their only one. Oh, coaches, that's all God they talk it. about turnovers, right? <laughs> Minimizing those and maximizing opportunities. And when an offense is doing a nice job selling the play action pass, a lot of responsibility shifts to the linebackers. They're the ones that have to determine run or pass and get God to the proper it. places first. on the field. Give them 13 on the pick up there. And the Chargers are going to have a first down. And there's another completion to the tight end. And let's face it, it is hard to overthrow a six foot six inch target. It is indeed. The quarterbacks like their speed guys. They like that huge six six target that they've got in him. Oh. Reminds me of what one great tight end told me once. He told his quarterback, just make sure you throw it up there. You know, kind of like put up in the top shelf where the kids can't get it. All right, here we go. Again on second and ten, it's Wilson being chased out left. Oh. Ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. That was almost another fumble. If someone's trying to throw the ball and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Surveying the field. Yeah! He's going to go down. Well, guys. Ah, oh, Really, Nikki? You have to quit? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, that was like the shortest Madden video ever. <laughs>